These are the three things which are not good about wheat. The first and the most important one is gluten. Gluten which is the majority portion of wheat is formed of two proteins gliadin and glutenin. Gliadin is the protein which makes the bakery products look uh, fluffy and tempting. But what gluten does? Our small intestine has tiny hair like projections called villi which absorbs the nutrients from the food and then it enters the blood. Our body reacts to gluten and creates an inflammatory response to attack it. While doing that it also damages those hair like projections in the small intestine. Then these people are then diagnosed as celiacs. Important thing to note here is whether someone has celiac disease or not, gluten will still do its job. The intensity of inflammation could be very less and slow but gradually your intestine will become weak and unable to absorb other nutrients properly. Number 2 High in Carbohydrates Out of 100 grams of wheat, 61 grams is just carbohydrates. So even though glycemic index is low, the glycemic load is quite high for those who want to lose weight. And I don't consider fiber as a nutrient anymore. I am almost on a no fiber diet for the past couple of years and, and my gut is 10 times better than what it was before. And the third one is incomplete amino acids. Wheat lacks in three essential amino acids and the name I can't pronounce. Wheat does not have a complete amino acid profile being a plant protein which is second class protein. So don't fall for marketing gimmicks of so called high in protein wheat products.